twitching. My body's like falling apart. And so if you see my eye twitching, it's not that I'm losing it or I'm dying yet. Just girly things. Hey guys, welcome back to Man Crush Mondays. So today I'm going to be talking about how to get over a guy. I was talking to my friend last night and she was just telling me about how annoyed she was that like there are guys that she's like that still like really affect her and she doesn't really know how to get over a guy really and so I thought I would make a video giving me some like tips actually five tips on how to get over a guy. As someone who has had a great deal of rejection in her life I think I am an expert Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my first tip for how to get over a guy is distance. So for me, I actually got lucky. The one guy that I really liked for a really long time, um, we were graduating so I didn't have to see him every day anyway. It's kind of hard to get like over someone when you see them all the time. So it was actually really good that we didn't like go to the same school or we didn't see each other a whole, whole lot because it actually made it a lot easier for me to like get over that. My second tip is distraction. So for me, I got really caught up with school and making new friends and I started working at my school's radio station, um, which didn't last long. Um, I started doing YouTube and stuff, so I didn't really have time to like be sitting like and thinking about, oh my god, you're so cute. And oh my god, our baby is looking like so freaking cute. Like, I did not have time to be talking about stuff like that and it made it so much easier. My third piece of advice is to hide the evidence. So you dated this guy, obviously hide the stuffed animals that he gave you, hide the pictures that you guys took together, and if he was like a friend of yours, you could do my little tip. First storm, I had like a collage of all my friends, and on the collage I had like a ton of pictures of this guy that I liked because we were really, really close, and then I was like, I have to like stop thinking about this person and seeing them all the time, much like distance, if you have pictures of them everywhere, it's going to be extra hard. So let's pretend this is a picture of me and said guy. So what I did was I literally took my trusty sticky notes and I just right over his face because I wasn't like, oh, he looks so cute in that picture, we have been so cute together. It's more like, oh, look how cute I look in this picture. Who is this again? And then you take it off and you're like, oh, yeah, right, and then you put it right back. Hide the evidence. Don't throw it in your face all the time that, oh my god, remember that one time I went to Dave and Buster's with him and he won me an ugly bear and I was like, oh my god, this bear is so ugly, but I love it. Throw the bear out. I'm not saying you have to like burn it or anything, but like put it in a box. Like go Lorelai Gilmore on this and just put it in a box and put it in the back of your closet and forget about it and then a few years later, cry about it. The fourth tip that I have for you is to vent. Personally, I get a lot out of just like talking, especially if it's like to my camera because there's no like real response. I feel like I'm always right if I'm talking to a camera. I'm sorry, I just spit up all over myself. Why don't you have a boyfriend, Jayla? Because I can't keep sitting in my mouth. Okay, when you vent, it just makes you feel a lot better. It's very like cathartic to just like say it like it is and just tell your friends, you know what, I really hated him. He's such a jerk. If you need time to like just honestly like just talk a lot of mess and a lot of like BS if it's like your best friend and she knows what you've been going through obviously just be like hey look I need to vent right now and you're the only one that I trust to tell you this and let it go. Number five so this is obviously the hardest part of getting over a guy and it's to wish them the best pray for their happiness. You have to remember that like I mean, you did date them, you know? And I think a lot of guys do that too. They'll be like, oh, she was gross. It's like, you dated her, so obviously there's like good traits to her. I just think it's better to just be the one that said, you know what? I wish you all the best with whatever you choose to do with your life. And being that person rather than like the bitter ex-girlfriend or the bitter ex-boyfriend. Boys are like buses. That's when the next one's coming. Like, don't even worry about it, girl. Well, getting over guys not easy, but um, you can do it. And I'm here for you if you need me. And you know, it's better to, you know, just like rip him out because you know who's really important? You! Yeah. And this is a crude drawing of me. I hope you can see it. Focus on you. You. It's all about you. So that is it. If you guys 
guys enjoyed this Man Crush Monday video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other tips for anyone that is going through a breakup or trying to get over someone they liked. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you, love you, love you so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye.